Hey, we're here at Navasota, Texas, and uh, this was Grimes County First Auction Barn, built in 1939. It was about 9,200 square feet, and now it's about 16,000 square feet. All the original posts, uh, or support posts, which are cedar, are in place. We added a few to that. It's all still reinforced now, and of course, uh, new ceilings and so forth. When you start out in the front, you've got a really nice uh, walkway entry, a warming room, if you will. All the furnishings, uh, all the tables and chairs uh, were built here uh, out of cedar and or mesquite. If it's, if it's cedar uh, work as far as furnishings go, I do it. If it's the stained glass, I do it. Uh, we have some antique stained glass in addition to the pieces that I've done. And then also all the horn lighting um, I've designed and, and, and built. And then we have um, a number of uh, carved pieces, um, big Indian totems and, and that sort of thing. We've, we've enhanced probably every area of the, of the hall. What we tried to do is just create some unique seating uh, so that uh, each little area within the, in the hall is, is uh, conducive to kind of a little conversation area. We took a big section of the uh, existing water troughs and or feed troughs, as well as the hay mangers out, and used the lumber that, that we reclaimed from that to create some wine racks. And also uh, we insulated and galvaloomed all the um, feed troughs so that they make perfect ice down uh, areas uh, for drinks. Uh, the old tin uh, that we've used within the interior of the place has been uh, pulled off or, or salvaged from uh, existing buildings in the Navasota area. All the interior walls are uh, cedar plank, uh, shiplap plank, which we set a, a mill, a wood mill, in, uh, in the rear parking lot area and milled 19 18 wheeler loads of cedar. I know the initial fellow that uh, I waved down out on the highway carrying the cedar thought I was, had lost my mind. Uh, who's that guy out there waving, waving me down? But I was able to talk to him and get his boss and, and call him and then he followed with 18 additional loads of cedar, uh, which came from seven different locations in Texas, uh, the closest being Bastrop. The hayloft, we cut a just a big section out and created a, a staircase landing and covered it with cedar. Uh, upstairs are, there is, is an area that uh, we use as a music tuning room or training room, uh, often given private lessons. Uh, we had um, Ricky Skaggs band, Kentucky Thunder, and they thought it was such a unique, unique room, they wanted to use it for their banjo and dulcimer classes. There's in that particular area, because it was a solid room and there was no way in except by a ladder and through a door. And when I first purchased it, there was actually a resident up there. It was a, a screech owl. And I nearly lost my life falling off the ladder when he screeched at me. <laughs> and uh, it's funny now, it wasn't then. However, uh, so we now call that the owl's loft. And uh, everybody seems to love that room. In the Owl's Loft, there's a small stage there, and then outside, uh, we have a, a stage area for just a, like a little three-piece band, and also outside seating there, covered. And then on the other side of the hall, we have a breakout area for a, for a band and a green space that you can seat about 350 people. Uh, we've had as many as 300, I think, uh, but more than ample room. Uh, one large stage, another uh, stage uh, to the left of that, and one in the center that can be brought in. In addition to that, we have um, what we call the, the, 
the cook room, uh, which initially was to be a little barbecue room, but we actually created a cabin there. So it sleeps uh, three folks and there's a nice sofa and chairs and so forth and bathroom. We also have on either side of the kitchen, there's a hallway and to the right side, uh, we have what we call the green room. It's our understanding that most bands are prima donnas and uh, they like their comfort. So we've created a comfort area for them. So when they come, they're, they're, they can be nice and relaxed and a little, a little practice room uh, in addition to um, you know, bathroom, shower, and, and so forth, and, and then a living area. So there's plenty of room to congregate and uh, tell old war stories. Um, in addition to that, then there's a private porch area and they can shut the entire backside off. So once their bus and trucks have pulled through, there's more than ample room for them. And we can close it all up so the groupies don't attack them. <laughs> all of this has got green space all around it. And we sure hope you'll come and have a real Texas good time. You never know who you're going to find here at Navasota River Hall. I think after looking at a number of pictures, you'll be excited to come and visit us and we'll be just as excited for you to come and visit us. God bless and have a great afternoon.